My name is Shelley Avery Jones from 3CDSB Edmonton, and I'm teaching you today a flexibility fusion class. Uh, we're going to be doing an hour full of uh, stretching and whatnot. And uh, what I want to do is I want to um, add a little bit of a check in there to see if we've kind of accomplished our goal at the end of the class. So we're going to start with some, uh, we're going to do some hip stretches and whatnot. And I really want to work on lower back and hips today and hamstrings as well. Um, so that we can, by the end of the hour, uh, we're feeling a lot better. And we tend to kind of ignore stretching a lot. I mean, I know I do. I'm kind of always in, you know, fifth gear when it comes to exercise. And I tend to forget to actually, you know, stop for a minute, take a second, and do some stretches, which is probably not uncommon. So uh, we're going to do that today. If we have time, which I'm hoping that we do, I want to shellify it a little bit. And I want to put in a core finisher for you so that we can, you know, just add a little core in there. I kind of like to do that um, in my stretch classes. So um, all you're gonna need today, so let me go through that real quickly, is a towel. I'm gonna show you what I did. I kind of took a long towel and I folded it in fours. So that's kind of what I need for me today. We're not gonna be using it a ton, but we are gonna be using it. So if you could run and grab that, it's literally besides, you know, music, some nice soft music in the background and some water. Um, besides that, that is all you're gonna need today. If you have a stretch band, that would even be better. Uh, hi Deb. <laughs> if you have a stretch band, that would be better. Uh, because, it's, but I don't like thing that stretches, like in the sense where it has to be pretty sturdy, okay? Okay, all right, so let me read this disclaimer out and then I'm gonna go start going through the workout. And uh, yeah, that's that. All right. So in response to COVID-19, PSP is offering virtual fitness classes to CAP members. By using social media platforms, virtual fitness classes tailored to CAP members become accessible to all. Participants who are not CAP members recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and physical fitness levels are unknown, and it's entirely up to each individual to assess their ability to participate in the class today. Since it is preferable to consult your physician before beginning an exercise program, we invite all participants that are not CAP members to consult the Get Active Questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document. Uh, if you're experiencing pain or difficulty during the exercises presented today, it's recommended that you stop and consult a healthcare provider. If CAP never sustained an injury due to this video, please remember to fill out a CF-98. Okay, so everybody good? Everybody can see me, hear me? My internet's working, there's no street sweepers in the back. Tell oh, yes, live video stuff is crazy. Okay, so we're gonna get started. So we're gonna do a nice thorough warm up. So just find yourself some space on the floor, anywhere you can. Um, take that music, turn it up, and it's gonna be a nice slow class today. Uh, so we're just gonna just really kind of work through the body and take a minute for yourself just to really work on anything that's too tight um, that needs to be kind of stretched out. So we're gonna really kind of go through a nice and slow pace today which is, again, unlike me, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and slow down. So as long as you take your arms out right here, take a deep breath in, stretch them over top, and hold for a second, and drop one arm down, take that arm stretch straight to the ceiling, reach, 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 and then take and add that other arm, stretch straight up again, hold, take the other arm down, stretch and reach, look up to the ceiling, excellent. Back up again, and then just drop it down low. Take a deep breath in, get ready for this nice, Stretch class today, back down, and one more of those. Deep breath in, fill the lungs full of air, inhale, and exhale out. Now we're gonna add a little movement today. So we're gonna warm it up. So we're gonna just pump the arms up, just straight to the ceiling. Easy, easy. And then give me a circle, out and in like that. All right, good, keep going. And up, let's pump the arms up again, four times, four, and three, and two, and one, and give me a circle right through, and three, and two, and one. All right, we're gonna punch it straight up and then down. We're going through this slowly. We're just slowly working the body, getting the movement going, adding some motivation to your day. Four, <laughs> and three, and two, and one. Let's step that foot in now. Let's just reach up and step it in. We're doing sets of eight. So if you want to count them out, you can. Just want to get that blood flow moving. 
before we get done and get really into those stretches. Three, and two, and one. We'll take that foot behind you into a curtsy. Punch up and curtsy back. Punch it up, nice long lines, nice straight arm. Whew. Four to go, you should feel your body start to slowly warm up. Four, and three, and two. And we're gonna add a squat and a curtsy lunge. So we're gonna go out squat, and then back curtsy lunge. Eight reps. Step down again. I like to really warm up good before I stretch. That's why we're going here with these. Four. This is low right to the floor. Three. That's it. Two more. Two. And one. Back to the center. We're going to take the arms out. Back in. Drop the right arm down, actually left arm down, sorry, stretch straight up. And add that other arm right back to there. Step back a little bit. Other arm, right arm down, reach straight up. Add that arm. Up, beautiful. Take it down and pump it up again. Four, and three, and two, and one. Big circle right through. Up, hold top. Three, two, one, we go one more, pump it straight up. A little bend in the knees, not too deep. One more, and straight up, and three, and two, and one. Now we're gonna punch it straight up over here, and back down here. Up, and down. Set to eight again, watch your lines, make them nice and straight and tall. <sighs> Try to really reach up high. In four, and three, and two, and one. We're gonna take that foot into that curtsy and just tuck it in behind the other leg. Still reaching tall, right there, and low at the back. Four to go, in four, and three, and two. We're gonna take that into that nice low squat with the curtsy lunge, squat, Curtsy, there's eight, and there's seven, and there's six. You can feel that right leg warm up. There's five, drop below, four, and three, two more, one last one. Back to here, back to the center, deep breath up, come down through the center, exhale, Okay, we've got a little bit more for you. We're going to reach up and up and then down and then down and then take a deep breath in. Let's just do one more of those. Exhale right through the center. Reach up and up and down and down. Deep breath through the center and exhale nice and slow. Okay, we're going to do the pinwheel. All right, so you're going to reach up to the ceiling. We're going to pinwheel down and tuck it in close right here. We're going to reach up to the ceiling, hold the stretch, pinwheel down, and hold right here. Again, we're just warming up. Nothing better than that. And reach up, pinwheel down, make it look good. Reach, pinwheel down, three, two to go, two, one left, and reach and hold it right here. Now take that leg back into a lunge. We're going to drop down to a lunge and then bring the knee in. We're gonna do that eight times. Drop down into a lunge, there's seven. Drop down, there's six. Beautiful, five. Drop, and four. Down, three. Drop, two, one more. One, hold it here. Take that foot in. Hamstring stretch, all the way down, toe is lifted, come back up, four times. Drop it down, bring that hand down the leg to the toe, back it up. Let's go two more. Please let me know if you can't hear me or if I need to adjust my volume. Please let me know and I'll come do that right away. One more, and back up, and let's step it out to the side again. Let's take the arms in and out, reach it in, and again, four more, four, 
three, two, one. We're going to reach it up, pinwheel down. Reach it up, pinwheel down. We're almost done our warm up here. Yeah, watch those lines. In, four, drop down, and three, and two. We're going to stop here on the one. Hold it here, take that lunge back, and do that eight lunges with the knee in. Drop down, bring the knee in. Eight, drop in. Seven, six, fight your little balance. Five, four, three, two, one left to go. And one here, drop that foot down, lift up the toe. Hamstring stretch, facing that corner here. Drop it down low, run the hand through, and up the leg. There's one. Drop it down. Two, and I like warming up like that, just get you mentally ready to either do your workout or your stretching. But it's good to make sure your body's warm before you do any kind of stretching. Okay. Out again, like I said, the arms up, drop that arm down the body, reach up, now it's time to go a little lower, if you can, reach all the way towards the foot, how low can you get there, drag it up the body again, add it, let's take the other hand, same thing, straight to the ceiling, back up, and lift and add it, and then I got one last thing for you, and you warm up, we're going to just lunge, easy, forward, lunge straight back, Squat to the side, and then curtsy lunge. We're only doing four. Forward lunge, we're running out of mat. Backwards lunge, side lunge, and a curtsy. There's two, forward lunge, backwards lunge. Yep, I'm in third gear already. I gotta slow it down, one more. Nice and slow, side squat sort of thing, and then back into that curtsy. All right, let's do the other leg four times, same thing. Step it forward, step it back, Step inside, squat, and then back into a curtsy knee to the ground. There's one. Forward lunge, backward lunge, side squat, and back again. There's two. Two to go. Forward, back, side squat, and back again. And last one. You can feel that heart rate going a little bit. Side squat, and then back down again. All right. Now I'm going to take a second to make sure that my video is working all right. It is live. Whew. All right. Okay, excellent. We're in this. We're in it to win it. We're gonna do the world's greatest stretch. This is where we're gonna add our stretch check. So I wanna see how warmed up you are. We're gonna go through the movements and then we're gonna try it again at the end to see if any of these stretches that I'm doing today are actually making a difference for you. Okay, so we're going to go through each of them four times. Four on the right, four on the left. Starting off, we're going to take a nice step forward into a lunge position. You're going to take the right leg forward. You're going to drop the bottom leg down to the ground. Your hands are on the inside of your foot. And from here, while the back knee is on the ground, you're going to grab the inside of that wrist. And you're going to drive your right elbow to the ground and see how far you can get. Can you get your elbow down? Now, I can't see you, but you're gonna have to judge on your own maybe how far away you are from the ground. Are you right down there, elbows down? Excellent, good job. You've got lots of flexibility in the hip area. Are, are your elbow just a couple cent centimeters off the ground, or where exactly is that? From here, you're gonna lift the back knee up, take the inside arm, reach it up like so. Who knew you could get sweaty in a stretch class? <laughs> Other side of the foot, you can put this hand here. Lean back and try to lift that toe up. Both legs are nice and straight. Let me do it from the side. Both legs are nice and straight, like this. You go back from here into that lunge position. Hands go over the head, like so. And you're going to step it forward. Drop it down. We do the whole thing on the other side. So we're stepping forward into the lunge stretch. Hands on the inside of the foot. Drop the knee down to the ground. Again, take that left arm, grab that right wrist, and see if you can get your elbow to the ground. 
press it down. How far are you on this side? Same, different, what's going on there? Then you're gonna again, lift that back knee up, arm is up like so, drop it onto the other side of your foot, lean back, lift up your toe, come back down to a lunge position, hands over the head, and then step forward. How's that? All right, we're gonna do a few more each side, and we're gonna do them a little bit quicker than that, okay? Right leg forward, step forward, lunge, hands down into the center, drop the knee down, grab the elbow, press the elbow down. Four, three, two, one. Back knee comes up, lift it up, drop it down to the other side, lift the toe up, back into the lunge position, hands go over the head, step it forward, and do from the front, I'll also do it from the side here in a second. Left leg, lunge it forward, drop down, hands on the side, grab that wrist. Drive the elbow down, four, three, two, one. Back up the back leg comes up, rotate up like so. Drop that hand to the other side, lean back. Come back into that lunge stretch, hands go over your head and step forward. All right, let's do it again. I'm gonna turn to the side, right leg forward. Like so, hands on the inside down, grab the wrist. Four, three, two, one. Back leg comes up, lift up like that. Look to the ceiling, drop it down. Lean back, toe, leg is nice and straight. Back into a lunge, hands over, step forward. Other side, <laughs> rocking this. Step forward, lunge, hands down. Drop the back knee, grab the wrist. Four, three, two, one. Lift the leg up, twist up. Drop it down, lean back. Back down, hands up, and step it in. Now we're really warm, we're gonna do that one more time. All right, so we can get lower. Step forward, drop down, not knee down. Wrist, four, three, two, one. Lift the back leg, lift out, drop down. Toe comes up, back to a lunge. Hands go over, step it in. Walk it back. I'm sweating. <laughs> step it forward, drop down, back knee down. Grab the wrist, four, three, two, one. Back knee comes up, lift it up. Drop down, hamstring stretch, back to lunge, hands overhead, and stand up. Awesome. Grab a drink of water. Quick drink of water, and we're gonna do some towel stretches. So for this next part, you're gonna need your towel. Hopefully you're feeling warm. You're gonna need your towel, and that's it. That's it, a mat if you need it, but you don't need it right now. Okay. Let's grab your bath towel or your sturdy stretch band or whatever you got around your house. I'm sure you can find something. Okay. Now, we're going to start with our feet nice and wide apart. I want you to grab the towel on each end. So, either side, as far down on that towel as you can. Okay, so from here, your legs stay straight. Slight soft bend in the knee. We're gonna do a shoulder roll through. So from here, you're gonna bring your arms up overhead. And here, inhale and exhale. See if you can keep your arms without bending the elbows. See if you can do what's called a shoulder roll through. So this that's what I call it anyway. And then you're gonna come back again over to your waist. So we're gonna do eight of these. Now, if you can bring your hand in closer, that's wonderful. I can't, but if you can, that's excellent. If you're finding that you're struggling Usually the part is getting over here is not so bad, but getting back is like you end up looking kind of like that. That's okay, just widen your hands as far down to that towel as you can. So with me now, four, roll through, three, again, we're trying to loosen up that shoulder girdle, two to go. It's fun thing about teaching a stretch class is I can actually talk, I'm not gasping for air. It's interesting for me. Very, okay, keep your hands up here. From here, we're going to do some waistline hamstring kind of stretching, okay? <laughs> we're going to take it over to the side, we're going to look up, four, three, two, one, back up. Let's take it the same thing the other side, stare at the ceiling, four, three, two, one, back again to that shoulder roll through, down, back over, just two times, again, one more, down over here, roll it back. Yes, and back up again, one more time. Over to the side, four, three, two, one, back up. Other side, four, three, two, 
one again, over to the side, flick up, and center, and to the side, and center. Now we're going to do a whole body roll through, so just take a look or just do it with me, that's fine. You're going to turn your whole body to the corner, keep your feet where they are, you're going to drop it down, you're going to come all the way up, just like that. You're going to turn to the corner, you're going to drop your left arm down first, right arm follows, right arm leads at the top. Let's do one more. Turn, drop down, and turn. Left arm, drop down, or why not? We got time, let's do one more. Turn, Ooh. yeah, back up, turn, left arm, back down, and back up. Now just drop your left arm, okay? Towel goes behind your back, like so. You're gonna grab that towel, you're gonna pull down, so we're trying to aim for stretching your tricep right there. Okay, so pull it down. We're just gonna to count to eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now can you, remember when you were a kid, you used to like be able to touch your hands together behind your back? Let's just see how far you can walk your hands up the towel and see how far you can get for them to touch. Now let's just do a little, little check here to see how flexible your shoulder girdle actually is without you leaning back like this or anything like that, okay? So can you get there? How far are you? Take a look if you can, and just take note, all right? Let's just take the other side, same thing. So take that towel over here, you're gonna grab it with your right hand, or try to, and then you're gonna pull the opposite arm down, just like that, trying to stretch that front left tricep, and it's feeling pretty good, actually. Feeling pretty warm. And uh, yeah, not too bad at all today. Three, two, and one. Now let's see if you can walk your hands together and how far you can get. I know on my right side I can get a heck of a lot farther. My left side's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> There's no way you're doing that. All right, hold it to four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, awesome, that's part one. We're gonna go down now on the floor and do part two. So grab a quick drink of water. <laughs> We're nailing it. Okay, down here. Go on the knees. We're gonna revisit the towel in a second here. So let's just leave the towel off to the side. So from now, we're gonna go on the knees. We're gonna extend that right leg out so it's a nice long lever, okay? We're gonna take this hand down. We're gonna stretch the right arm right above the head like this and stretch right out and reach as far as you can to, this, to the side corner of your house, apartment, wherever the heck you are. Back down again, keep that leg straight. We're gonna take the left arm and bring it over like so. Pull to four, three, two, one. Back again, reach it straight over. Lift, 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 lift. Feeling in the waist, your obliques. And then back again, reach it straight over top like so. Again, hold, and we're gonna to come to the center. We're gonna take this leg right here, we're gonna take it behind you, and at the same time, bring that front leg out into what called the called pigeon pose in the yoga, I think, pretty sure. Now from here, your hips are facing down, you're not lying on your side like that right now. Your hips are facing down, and all I wanna do is I want you to get your hands down in front of you, maybe even your elbows, maybe even your chest. Let's see how low you can get. And I'm going to count in my head to 10. And I'm going to stay here so I can see all your faces. Okay, 10. Deep breath in and exhale. Feeling it in your left hip joint and maybe some other places. Four. Okay, come on back up. Lift back on that knee. Take that foot behind you. This leg comes in front and we're gonna lunge stretch. So you're gonna take it into your lunge, knees over top of the heel, hold it here. You're pushing your hips to the floor. I'll do it from the side so you can see it. You're gonna push the hips right down to the floor as low as you can. And you're stretching that left hip flexor. And you're just gonna hold it for a second. Four, three, two, one, and come back. Now you're back on those knees, or you're still on those knees. You can take your left arm, left leg, sorry. All right, straighten it out. Keep your hand out like so. Reach it straight over your head. 
and back over to the side. And there's always something that happens when I'm doing a video. And now my neighbor's mowing my lawn. Thank you, Steve. Reach over. And back again. Up. Yes. And two more. I think I did four on the other side, but if not, it's not going to hurt. Reach over. Oh, you that feels really, really good. Down yeah, one more. Watch those lines. We're going to reach and then back over again. We're going to take that left leg behind you into that pigeon pose. So go from here, right behind you, take that leg in front of you and tuck it in. Move it over and down you go. Hips facing the floor. Try and see how low you can get. I'm going to count. I mean, you can get your chest down or your head down. Good job. I'm just going to stay up here so that you can hear me. And in my head again, I'm counting to 10. Try and relax and don't fight the stretch. You don't want to fight it. You shouldn't feel pain or sharp pains or anything like that while you're stretching. You don't, don't fight it and try to relax your muscles instead of let it go. That's what they want to do. In three, two, one. Back up, come in again, take that back leg into that lunge position. So you're taking the left leg forward into the lunge position, hands around a knee, uh, leg somewhere. And you're pushing your hips down towards the floor. And you're going to hold that. And the next set of exercises we're going to do are actually going to be seated. And then we're going to be going into the uh, little more with your towel if you have it handy beside you. All right, four, three, two, one, back up. All right, from here, we're just going to continue on the flow of taking your feet inside like so, okay? And grabbing your toes, pushing your knees to the ground, and you're gonna pull your stomach towards your feet. Don't compromise posture for stretching. So you don't wanna like kind of go round into the back or anything like that. I wanna put your stomach more towards your feet other than putting your forehead. You can see that, wow, good job. So just pull down. And back up. Now let's just take those legs out to the side into that V stretch. Let's do a couple of these here before we move into the flowing full part. You can take your hand here, reach over to the side. Excellent. Back up. And now turn to the left. Put your right hand on your leg and pull down. Good. Back up. Let's take the other side. Reach over. Four. Three, two, one, and take that same left arm, cross it over, grab that right leg, and pull down. Good, back up again. Let's take your feet in. Now this time we're going to take your right foot. This is kind of a fun one. It's really good for your hips. You're going to take that foot right on top of the knee. You're going to try not to move your body to the side or anything like that. Just try to stay right here and just gently relax. You can put your hands behind you if you like. And try to let that knee kind of fall down. You're going to feel a stretch through your hip joint, which is what I'm trying to focus on today. You can add a little pressure by putting a little pressure with your hands and pushing down your knee. And we're just going to hold this. Kind of like yoga. For five. Four. One. Now that same leg stays, but it's going to slide off to the side into the pretzel stretch. Take this bottom leg and tuck it in a little more if you can, and then you're going to grab with your arm, hug that knee in tight, still facing me, hold the pretzel stretch. You're going to try this more in your glutes area down here, and 10 second hold on this guy. Nine, count in your own head, or you can listen to the lawn more behind me, whichever you like. To have friends that do your lawn. Three, two, and one. Now we're going to take it out like so. You're going to drop it down like that, okay? So both knees are bent. Try to get them more at a 90 degree angle. And for a quad stretch, this one's pretty intense. If you're not warmed up, well, you should be still warmed up. Um, you might want to take it into levels. So from here, you go from level one, which is just sort of on your elbow. Your focus is trying to get that knee to the ground. Level two, be more both elbows on the ground 
And level three, you're gonna see if you can lay right flat down, tuck that ankle in, and push the knee towards the floor. Now, just because I want you to see me and hear me, I'm gonna sit up like this into level one. But you don't want you to hold that for a decent 20 seconds, okay? And we're already on the count, so we've got another 10 more seconds left to go on this one. You can find a real good deep stretch right through the quad. If you don't, it's pretty flexible. Good job. But you can pull your ankle closer to your glutes on this one, okay? Five, four, three, two, and one. Back up, come out of it nice and slow. Take your time. And then back again, crossing that foot over top. Now this time we're going to do that whole sequence with your other foot. So take the foot, put it right on top of the knee. And again, just relax, lean back, let the knee fall down, and let it just gently go down to the side here and stretching out that left hip joint. Ah, smell of fresh cut grass. Mm, love it, summertime. Hold it, five. Four, three, two, and one. Now back up. We're going to take this foot, slide it off to the side right here. Give it a nice big hug. Hug it in tight. And hold. Nice glute stretch right there. Okay, try to make sure that your tailbone, or your, sorry, your pelvic bone is down on the ground and you're not sitting like this. Okay, four, three, Two and one. We're going to take that leg back and that quad stretch that we did. So a 90 degree angle here, 90 degree angle right there. You're going to lean back into level one or level two, which is here, or level three, which is all the way down. Okay? I'm going to hold again for 20 seconds. I'll sit up so I can, I, you can hear me. And time is already on the clock here. 15 more seconds to go. And 10. Five. And back up. Okay, now we're gonna go into our next segment where you're gonna need a your towel. So we're gonna work on hamstring flexibility. Grab a quick drink of water while we're here. Cheers, by the way. And we'll get started on the hamstring. Okay. It's refreshing. I don't have sweat pouring in my eye and I'm not gasping for air trying to explain things to you. It's kind of like it. All right, so we're gonna lay on your back. We're gonna put your foot in your towel like so. And you're gonna straighten your leg. Okay, so from here, you're gonna lie back onto your back. Now, if this leg has to be bent, that's fine, but ultimately I would like it to be straight. The top leg, however, your right leg, I want a nice soft bend in the knee, but not like so bent where you can obviously see it. So soft bend, not locked. Your heel is face to ceiling, your foot's flexed. If you're down here in this land and that's where your leg stays straight, that's fine. But if you can get it all the way up, wherever you can, wherever your flexibility is, that's where we're gonna go. So I want you to hold, and we're gonna do four stages. So we're holding right now, we're already stretching our hamstring. This is stage one. When I say pull it a little closer, just a teensy bit closer to your forehead, just a little bit. So this is stage two. So pull it in a little bit more. And you might see no movement. You might feel it, but see no movement at all. And my focus is right back here. I really want to get this nice and full, full, fully stretched today. Third level, again, pull. Again, we're in the third stage. 10 seconds on each stage. It takes about 30 seconds plus to increase flexibility in the area. So I'm going to hold this. This is a good 40 second um, stretch for the hamstrings today. So just pull that towel. If you don't have a towel, you can try and grab your ankle or just pull on your calf. And the fourth stage. So this is a final one. Pull it as close to your face as you can and hold for 10 seconds. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Try not to fight it. Just relax through it. And then from here, while you're holding that stretch, you're going to take the foot and you're going to hover it over top of your other hip bone, so your left hip bone. Just a little bit of a movement. It's not very much. So hover it over the top of your left hip bone and hold for 10 seconds. 
changes things, changes the game just a little bit. And then we are going to do our adductors as well on your inner thigh. So we're going to take this leg and we're going to go all the way out to the side as far as you can without rolling with it. So let's give that a try. All the way out to the other side without rolling. Try not to let your body go whoop like that. Try just to let your still stay the same on the ground. Your hips are on the ground. Your shoulder blades are on the ground. You're just moving that leg off to the side and pulling it and stretching and feeling a nice stretch through the adductors or your inner thigh. And again, right here, stop, take a deep breath in. Exhale out. And then come on back up with that leg, nice and slow. From here, you're gonna bend the knee and try to push it into your shoulder while your foot is flat and facing the ceiling. We tend to go like this. I kind of don't want that. I want the foot flat to the ceiling. Pull the shoulder into the knee. You want to split the towel up, that's probably easier. And then press it up into that stage three or stage four stretch that we have in our hamstring again. We're going to do three more. Pull the knee in, foot flat to the ceiling, and then press it straight up again. Ooh, I'm feeling that major, major. And down again, this is number three. And press it out. And we have one more of those to go. So pull it down. Knee into the shoulder and press it up. Try to relax, and then we're gonna just gonna drop that leg down. You can roll up a bit, Woo! and that's one leg done. We got the second one to go, so we're gonna wrap the towel again and do that exact same sequence that we just did for the hamstring on the other leg. Okay, so lie back, and I'll talk you through it again. So you're gonna take that knee up or leg straight, preferably straight. Keeping that left leg nice and straight, foot to the ceiling, stage one, hold it right there. So we already know what we're doing. We're just gonna now just do it on the other side. All right, so 10 seconds, stage one. We're going to four. Again, it's not a lot of movement, just a little bit. Stage two, let's go right now, pull it in a little closer. Pulling with the towel. Again, if you don't have one, you can just grab your shin or your, your leg right here and just pull it closer. All right, hold. Three, two, one. Stage three. Again, it takes 30 seconds to increase flexibility in the muscle of holding that stretch. So we're gonna be, this is a good two minutes in this in these positions here with this leg. So we should be pretty flexible like a piece of spaghetti once we're done. Stage three. Am I on stage three? I think I'm on stage three. Stage three, and one more stage to go before we go through that. Uh, rest of the flow here and stage four is the final one. How much more can you go and double check? Take a look. Can you do more with the right leg than the left or vice versa? Or are they both pretty much equal? I can tell you a lot about imbalances in your, in your body. All right, we're going to go from here. So take that foot, hovering it right over top of that right hip. So bring it over top. 10 second hold. It's not much movement. It's not very big. It's just a little bit. Double check your leg is still straight, that there's not a bend that happened in that knee, okay? Hold it there. And then we're gonna do that adductor stretch where you go way out to the side, how far you can go, and let's go for it now. So right out to the side without rolling with it, feeling in the adductors. We're gonna hold this. You might wanna grab the towel differently. You might wanna position yourself a little bit differently, but you're gonna hold 10 more seconds. Here. Feeling if you're rolling, put that elbow down on the ground to stop you from rolling. And five, four, three, you're doing great by the way. Two and one. Bring it all the way back up. And those four knee drives. So now we're going to take the towel, split it if you can. Bring the knee into the left shoulder. Pull it down. Try to keep your heat, foot flat to the ceiling. And then press it into that extension, stage two, three, or four, whatever you can handle. Back down again, pull, knee into the shoulder, and extend it. There's two, we have two more to go. Bring it down, pull it in, back up again, extend, flex, flex, flex. And no toys, no toy, toes pointed, try and say that five times fast. And back straight, and the last one here, pull, and drop it down. All right, we're not done with the towel yet. We still have another one. So for this one, this one I want to try to stretch out your lower back a little bit and, and hamstring as well. Okay, so we're going to take the other foot, the right foot uh, with the towel. Your left leg is straight. Try to take the towel in your left hand 
and kick your right arm up to the side. Now from here, you're just going to let your leg go straight over top of that other leg without bending the knee. You're rolling a little bit. The hips are going to move, and that's what I want, but I want your shoulder blades still flat on the mat, staring at the ceiling, and not collapsing over with it like that, okay? You're going to hold that stretch for 20 seconds. So holding that, again, your hips are twisting like this, but your upper body is like that on the mat, in case you can't kind of see me because this is dark in the back of my graduate. Okay, we got 10 more seconds, really feeling in the hamstring and lower back. I'll get back down to position here. Try to keep that foot on the ground if you can. Three, two, one. Come up nice and slow and switch your feet. Just go like this. Drop the other leg down. Your towel is now going to be in your right hand. Your left leg is in the towel. Your left arm is out on the mat. Same thing. You're going to twist your hips, keeping your shoulder blades on the mat. And which land are you in? Is the foot near the ground up here? Is it way down here? Is it up high up there? Where can it go? So we're going to hold. Again, just really try to feel it in the lower back. Hamstrings are on fire right now, though. So that's a good thing, too. 20 seconds. We're already 15 in. Let's take this moment. To take a deep breath in and exhale, exhale all the air in your lungs. Let's do one more of those, deep breath in, exhale out, and relax. Take that leg back up and we're going to take it out uh, of the towel. All right, taking your foot, you don't need the towel right now, we're going to take your foot, cross it over. We're going to thread the needle. So you're going to reach your arms through that bottom leg and bring your knee up. And I'm trying to relax. We have a tendency to kind of do this, but we want to try to relax that upper body. Really reflect on your day. Try to just calm yourself down and feel a good stretch through the glute area, hips again. And we're going to do our world's greatest stretch right after this and see how if we've improved in flexibility or not. Drop that leg down, take this foot down, bring that other one back up, cross it over, thread the needle again, bring that hand through, grab the back of that hamstring, pull the knee in, relax the head if you like. And again, let's take that deep breath in, and exhale, deep breath in, and exhale again, drop it down. Beautiful, we're gonna roll over into the prone position. So let's go to here. Okay, so we're gonna spend a second here, not spend too long. Hands right here, elbows are underneath your shoulders. And if you have a bad lower back, I would recommend you just stay right here. And that's just fine. We're just gonna to try to push the elbows down and lift up the head and try to stretch the lower, this the, the core. If you don't have a lower back, you're gonna go up in this position here. And the more intense one would be to bring your elbows underneath the shoulders more and get up in that area there. So giving you a few options, you decide which option is best for you. This is one, this is two, right down here, hands underneath the shoulders, and this is three. Okay, holding four, three, two, one, come back down. Okay, we're gonna go from here into child's pose. So down here, drop the hips down through the leg, drop the head down as well. I, it's hard to talk while I'm doing that. And hold for 10 seconds. Five, two, one. Back up into the um, cat cow position. I guess we're going to call it that. So we're going to go from here. You're going to drop into an arch back. And then from here, you're going to roll through and round your back like a cat. Back down again. And roll through it up. Let's do one more. And roll through it up. All right, from here we're going to do the downward dog stretch in the yoga class up here. The toes are curled under, back legs are straight, your head goes through your arms. You're driving your heels towards the ground as much as you can. You're going to hold the stretch. Tailbone 
come to the ceiling. And from here, we're going to lift the right leg up and bring it in towards the hands. So right leg comes up as high as you can. Bring it in towards the hands and hold it for a second. Two of these. Back up again. In towards the hands. And one last one. Nice extension as high as you can get it. Hold. Pushing that left heel to the ground. Drop the back leg. And back to center. Okay, from the, we're going to do the left leg now. Same thing. Straighten up. Bring it back in between the hands. Again, back to straight. Back in between the hands. And this one, we're going to hold it. Straighten it up. Drive the right heel into the ground. Hold nice and straight. Point that toe. Make it look pretty. Why not? Four, three, two. Bend the knee. Let it flop to the side. Three, two, one. And back down. All right. Back up. Back up to standing position. Hey guys, we're killing it. We're doing amazing. We're going to back to that. We're going to go back to that. Um, the world's greatest stretch and see if we have improved our flexibility in our hip joints and our hamstrings. So let's give it a shot and see how we do. Okay, we'll do two rounds through. You know it because we did it in the warm up. Well, let's go for it. Okay. Step forward into that lunge stretch, hands on the inside of the feet, drop that back knee, and here's the check. Grab your wrist, drive that elbow down. Are you lower? Can you make it to the ground? Hold it for four, three, two, one. Come back up, lift that back leg up, and extend it out. Drop that arm down, let's check the hamstrings. Lift the toe up, is it better? Is it worse, is it the same? Hold four, three, Two, back into that lunge position. Hands go overhead and step forward. Woo, all right. Let's do the other side. Step it forward, do that lunge. Drop it down, let's check the left side. Let's see if we're any better on the left leg. Knee down to the ground, that left arm grabs the right wrist, drive the elbow down as far as you can. I'm a little lower, but I still can't reach on this side. Four, three, two, one, come back up. Lift up, drop back down, back leg goes down, toe comes up, hamstring stretch, back into that lunge position, hands go overhead, step forward. All right, now let's just do that one more time. Okay, right leg forward, drop down, knee in, grab the wrist, four, three, two, one, back leg lifts, rotate up, drop down, toe lift, Back in, hands go up and stand. Left leg, drop it back. I mean, walk back, drop it down. Knee, low, knee to the ground, grab the wrist, drop the elbow down. Four, three, two, one. Come back up with the back leg. Lift up. Back down. Toe up. Lunge stretch. Stick it up and let's stand. Let's see if we can touch the floor. So from here, feet are together, heels together. Shouldn't have shoes on, but I do. We're gonna go down and see how far you can reach. Can you reach the ground? How close are you? Do a hamstring check. Without bending the knees, how far can you get? Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Hopefully, you're lower than you were when we started this whole thing an hour ago. Okay. What do you say? We have 10 minutes left. What do you say we just uh, shallow find this a little bit and do a little core finisher, Deb? How about that? You in? All right, let's do a core finisher. We're going to do 10 reps of each exercise. We're going to have 10 exercises. It's going to take us five minutes tops. Done. All right, so don't go anywhere. Stay with me. You guys are doing awesome so far. Let's just throw this in just simply because, well, just because I feel like doing it. All right, so we're going to start with a V-sit. Single leg or double leg, whichever you like. Hands are over the head. All right, I'm aiming for coming straight up, on sit bones, back down. But if you can, do both legs. Ultimately, that would be awesome. So let's go for 10 alternating or double legs. I've already done two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, now we're gonna do an extension. You can grab your towel for this, or you can do it without the towel. Doesn't really 
matters. Just the prop just sort of helps me. Take a little mind game for me. Towels here. Knees are up like so. We're going to reach out, keeping your feet hovering over the floor. And back in. Ten reps. Nice straight arms, nice straight legs. Four. We can do this. Five. Pushing that lower back to the ground. Don't let the back arch. Seven. Eight. Nine. One left. And ten. Back in. Okay, setting up like so. See a twist. We're going to take that right foot on the ground, left foot on top, towels out like so. We're going to lean back. We're going to drop the right elbow to the floor and back up. Down. Just ten reps. Make sure you're leaning back and you're not sitting up like this because this doesn't do anything at all. You need to lean back, activate the core. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's take the other foot on top, switch sides the other way. Ten, touching the elbow to the ground. We got this, guys. We can do it. Three, get together summer body somehow. Four, five. And six, and seven, and eight, two more, nine, and ten. Drop the towel. Side plank. You're going to go on your side. Back fit foot is behind you. Top foot is in front. Hands over here. You can take your elbow into that back knee. Ten reps. Go slow if you have to. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm only doing a fast five minute core sesh here with you today. So I'm just going to roll through it. Back foot again is behind you. Top left foot in front. Watch your lines on arm straight overhead. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Back down here in this position. You're going to do plank walks on the elbow, on the hand. Alternate on the elbow, on the hand. We're going to do five of each. So in the plank area right here. Make sure you're not sagging down and you're not your butt up in the air like that. Okay, from here, drop down one. So that, here's one. Take the 
right leg and lift it over top of the hip. Hover it, just drop down and lift 10 reps. That's all I want. As high as you can. Three, four, five. This will be our last exercise. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Relax down. Left leg lifts, hovered above the hip. Squeeze the glutes, lift up. Drop down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost there. Eight, nine, and ten. Excellent, relax. All right, hug the knees in and roll it up. I want you standing. Come back up to standing position for me. Quick drink of water. Let's do a finisher right here. Is everybody up? Standing up. Whew. Good job today. You know, it's good to take a minute and just do some stretching. It's good just to stop your daily activity, do a little exercise, do a little stretching. It makes you feel good. It centers you. So thanks for joining me today. Arms out. Let's take a stretch. All the way up overhead. Let's drop that left arm up, drop down the body, reach up, look up, back up again, add the other arm, drop the right arm down, lift the body. Feels good. Back up again, feet together, lean back just a little bit, not too much, you don't want to go too hard, just a little bit, lean back, and drop down. One deep breath up so I know you're good to go. Inhale, exhale through the center, right through the center of the body. And let's give one more of those positive thoughts, right? Ready, here we go. Blue butterflies, exhale. All right, boom. Thanks for joining me today, everyone. Hope you had a good flexibility fusion class. And I'm hoping that, you know, I did help your hips out a little bit, lower back or hamstrings. So again, thanks for joining me and Shelly Avery Jones, and I'm, I'm signing out.